All right, so 96 through 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, I'll be showing you how to do aftermarket uh, door locks as far as uh, controlling them for lock and unlock from a uh, remote start. Um, you will need the two of these relay harnesses, one for each door. You know, one for the left front door and one for the right front door. There's your part number. It's a DEI. It's a 451M. So there's basically uh, two relays inside this box right here. One of them's going to uh, do your lock function and one of them's going to do the unlock function. It's not that difficult at all to wire up. Um, these tiny wires are going to be for your lock and unlock. That's going to hook to your main positive at the door lock. And these are going to, these two wires are going to hook to the switch side of the door. These two bottom wires are going to hook to your door lock motor wires. Here's a diagram for it. See if I can hold it still where you can pause it and look at it. Um, you will be cutting the wires that lead to your motors. So cut there, cut there. Then you'll be putting these in between those two cut wires. So very easy process to do. These are a uh, top C uh, door lock. All right, so now that you got your door panel off, uh, this step right here is optional, but I do recommend doing it. Let's go ahead and uh, remove the door switch assembly. Uh, you'll need a T20 bit to do this. Let's go ahead and unscrew all five of the screws. And we'll go ahead and uh, plug these back onto the door. All right, so I went ahead and plugged everything back in. Everything's still fully functional. So that's your wiring harness that we're going to be using. This other one's for your uh, power mirror. So now we need to find us a good location to mount your relay harness. Since we're going to be tapping into these wires right here, we need to find somewhere where it's not going to interfere with the uh, door, door panel going back on. And in this case, my aftermarket uh, door lock actuator that I installed a while back, I don't want to interfere with it. But um, I'm going to use a nice self-tapping screw. Got a good spot right there to mount it. And a really good flat area. Plenty of room for the window behind it. So right there is where I'm going to self-tap it. Now you see where I've got it installed at right there. So these wires are going to be the ones that uh, hook to the motor legs. These two wires are going to hook to your tan wire, which is your constant positive. And all those wires are located in here. I want to go ahead and um, do away with some of this uh, tape right here to give me good access to all the wires. Alright, so now if you go back to my list here. The door lock motor wires are orange and purple and pink and black. So these two wires right here, orange and purple and pink and black. Take around those two pins right there. Let me zoom in on them just a notch. So orange and purple, this wire, pink and black. These are gonna be the wires that we're gonna cut with the wire cutters. So I'm gonna cut them right about, right about here. All right, so this is how you do the door lock wiring. I've already got the relay mounted now, and I went ahead and cut the pink and black and the pink and purple wires. Those are your uh, ones that run down to the motor. So you have your switch side and you have your motor side. So let's go ahead and uh, strip those wires. So now if you go by my chart here, the ones that run to your uh, door lock motors are the green and black and blue and black. So that's these two wires right here, green and black, blue and black coming from the relay. And they're gonna hook to these two wires right here. 
So we're gonna bend these back this direction, bring our wires up here, and cut everything to the right length. So we cut the blue and black and the green and black. We'll go ahead and strip them. All right, and now let's uh, get our butt connectors ready. So we're gonna use the blue adhesive lined butt connectors. Let's go ahead and put the butt connectors on the ends here. All right, and if you go back to my chart, that green and black wire attaches to the orange and purple wire. So this one right here on the door lock motor side of things. So we'll go ahead and insert it in. Crimp it down. Now we'll do the blue and black. Cramp it. There again, if you go by my chart, the blue and black wire crimps to the pink and black wire on the door lock motor side of things. All right, so there's, there's those two. So now that leaves us with a brown and black and white and black. And those need to run up here to these uh, cut wires. So we'll kind of match everything here to the correct length. So cut these off right about here. Do the same thing, go ahead and strip them. We'll go ahead and put our butt connectors on them also. So the brown and black wire goes to the pink and black. So brown and black. Goes to the pink and black. white wire with a black stripe goes to your orange and purple. And twist them. All right, so that's all your door lock uh, motor wires all hooked up. So now we'll be using this little tiny uh, red wire and your purple wire with a black strap. We'll be attaching it to this uh, tan wire right here. So let's go ahead and get all these situated to the length I want. Probably right about here. So we'll strip that little itty bitty red one and we'll strip our purple wire with a black strap. I'll be using a yellow butt connector this time, one of the really big ones. And we'll cut the tan wire right about here. Be careful with this tan wire because it's actually got power on it. So make sure you don't touch anything metal as you're stripping it. So go ahead and strip it back. Twist your 
purple with a black stripe and your red wire together around the tan wire. Make sure all of those are going to be in here good. Put your yellow buck connector over it. Make sure all those wires are in there. Give it a crimp. Okay, now make sure your door locks still operate. Which they do. So now, all that's left are your two itty bitty, you know, the blue and green wire, the little tiny one. These will run all the way through your door jam and hook to your uh, remote start. But for the time being, to test these, to make sure everything's operating correctly, go ahead and strip just a little bit off the end. And these are trigger wires, ground triggers. So the green wire locks and the blue wire unlocks. So we'll touch it to something metal here. Yep, that locked it. And that unlocked it. Lock, unlock. So as you see, these are actually pretty simple to do. So lock and unlock. All right. So like I said, these will hook to the remote starter. So we'll run it through the door jam. I'll do it later. Let me go ahead and uh, tidy up all these wires while I'm here. All right. So I'll be using some high temperature Tesla tape. I'm going to wrap around all these wires just like how the original would have been. So let me unplug all my switches first. These are all um, heat shrink connectors. So I need to shrink them all with my torch. They have uh, adhesive lining in them that keeps them uh, waterproof. So let me shrink all these down with my torch first. So I'll do these up in uh, heat shrink tubing when it comes time for me to run these wires. So for right now, I'm going to bundle them up and zip tie them in, inside my door panel until I'm ready to get to this stage another day. I'm cut the ends, ends off these wires, that way they don't touch anything and lock and unlock randomly. So these wires will be there when I'm ready to finish this install. So, as you see, it's pretty easy to do. Let me uh, go ahead and put the door switches back in the door panel. All I've got left to do is just run those wires and ties to that uh, remote start. But it's starting to get late. I'm going to go ahead and do the passenger side the same way I did this side. And one day when I get a chance, I'll run all the wires to the remote starter. <laughs> 